Do we need to worry about iodine when we switch to sea salt? That super depends on what you're eating. The reason why we care about iodine is that it is the base mineral for our thyroid hormones. Your thyroid glands right there, that's why I'm pointing at my neck. And your thyroid hormones control metabolism, so they're super important. In fact, 80% of the iodine in your body is in your thyroid gland. There's also some immune cells that use iodine. There's a few other uses, but iodized salt was actually the very first fortified food in 1917, I think. And it was a very successful fortification. It reduced risk of goiter by 77%. Goiter is a swelling of the thyroid gland that can be caused by iodine deficiency. And the main source of iodine in the average person's diet is iodized salt. If you switch to sea salt because you like the flavor or you want all of the ultra trace minerals, then it's important to know where else you can get your iodine. Seafood in general is a great source and sea vegetables like seaweed is the top source. If I remember correctly, a serving of kelp has over 50,000% of the daily value of iodine. But the common sea vegetables used for like seaweed salad, like wakame or arame or nori sheets, those you could have a serving or two every day and still be between the daily value of iodine and the tolerable upper limit, which would be too much iodine. And our thyroid glands are really picky when it comes to our iodine intake. They want us to be in the happy medium range and both too much and too little iodine can make our thyroid glands go on strike. Other good sources of iodine include dairy products, eggs, and some legumes like lima beans. So if you're eating a diverse whole foods diet, that includes some or all of those foods, it's really easy to get enough iodine. Where you need to worry is if you're following a restricted diet that doesn't include any of those foods and switching to sea salt. 